Great. So then let's move on from applying to LSE to um, studying, actually studying law at LSE. So what do you think is um, your most memorable moment uh, while studying at LSE? My most memorable moment? Um, it has to just be welcome week. So my first week at LSE, it was, I guess, the most exciting week because it's the week where you first meet all of your professors, all of your peers, where you're making new friends, um, getting used to being in the university classrooms, that kind of thing. And just the difference from high school was so stark that I think it'll always just stand out in my mind. Oh, so were, were there a lot of, so about how many students are there in one year? Like, um, this year there are more because of the whole, the fact that there weren't um, IB and A-level final exams for a lot of people. Yeah. The incoming cohort was a lot bigger, but yeah. usually, so for my cohort, there's only, there's 150 of us in my year. Oh. Okay, so that's, I guess, it's pretty, pretty, like, it's pretty decent, like, the number. It's Yeah, I would say so, because LSE is a pretty small university compared to, like, UCL and Kings, because, yeah. first of all, we only do social sciences, so that kind of cuts half of the subjects off. Yeah. But aside from that, I think our intake is um, smaller than those subjects, than those universities as well. So 150 for law is pretty solid. Yeah. I think economic as the most I think they have around 300. Oh okay that's a lot so then yeah. uh besides the compulsory courses that you have to take like uh uh criminal law and mm -hmm. other laws so um I think you also have to take optional courses right so can you please tell us what what sort of courses that you have taken and like what is like your favorite course out of all of them sure so in first year um, all of the courses are mandatory and they're, you know, criminal law, like you said, there's contract law, tort law. Um, this year, my two mandatory courses were EU law and property. And the ones that I chose outside of that were medical law and commercial contracts. So I picked those because, um, well, I want to go into the commercial law industry and the commercial law field after I graduate. That's why I took commercial contracts because I felt that it would help me develop the skills that I would need for my career. Medical law, I took for a pretty different reason. Um, I'm very interested in the philosophical and moral side of law and medical law consists of a lot of that. So it's less um, black letter law, kind of like memorizing what the law is and more discussing what the law should be in terms of con contentious subjects like abortion, assisted dying, that kind of thing. So that's what I found the most interesting. Cool. So um, I, I actually researched, compared the courses of like Oxbridge, uh, UCL, and LSE, and I realized that uh, LSE is like the, out of all four of them, it's the only school that doesn't have like contract as its compulsory course, and it only has like commercial contract as one of like the courses involving contract. Why is that? So we have yeah, so LSE is different in that um, contract is technically still a uh, compulsory subject. So it's something that you have to take in the first year, except the title of the course is called Law of Obligations. Oh, okay. And it's into contract law for term one and tort law for term two. So it's like the okay. civil um, kind of cases. Okay, got it. So, not, so, yeah. So it's like the contract course of other unis, except it's condensed into one term. Oh, got it. Great. So, um, so I heard that LSE has a also has a double degree with Columbia Law School. So, like after four years, you get a LLB from LSE and JD from Columbia. So, um, how exactly? Because I read from the website that it's really competitive. Like the chances of getting in is slim. So how exactly competitive is that? And uh, what kind of abilities or strengths do you think uh, a competitive candidate should have to in order to apply for this double degree program? Right, um, it is competitive. I think 
I'm not too sure how many people apply every year, but they usually only accept one or two. And the reason for that is if you're going to do what would normally take you seven years in four years, that's going to be very academically challenging. And they want to make sure that you have the um, ability essentially to do that. So what they're going to be looking for is really strong performance in first year. So you would apply for the degree program in term one of second year. So they're going to be looking for really strong first year performances. They also ask you to submit all of the all of the essay feedback that you've ever gotten. So any grades that you've ever received. And I think you must be not only above average, but one of the best in consistently throughout all of them in order to have a chance of getting onto the program. Um, they also interview you after shortlisting based on grades. They'll interview you, I guess they're looking to see your motivations for studying in New York specifically um, and whether, you know, and it's also very expensive. So I think they're looking to see whether you'll be able to afford it um, and, you know, whether you'll be able to afford living in New York as well, that kind of thing. Contact than like normal public universities? Um, professors definitely are easy to contact. Um, they also have office hours. So you can book to meet your professor one on one for um, a period of time. I think they're 30 minutes at a time. Um, but professors are also different from like from your teachers. So professors will deliver the lectures and sometimes your professor will be your teacher, but more often than not, it'll just be, um, you know, just like an assistant professor maybe, so the per like someone who didn't deliver the lecture. And sometimes it will even be a PhD student who's um, doing, I don't know, writing a thesis on the area of law that you're studying or something like that. But everyone's really easy to reach. If you have any questions about course content, there's loads of different avenues that you can um, contact. Yeah, it's a-